two years now that um, I, call, I call the poems Systems. And these poems use various repetition patterns. Um, sometimes the patterns are organized on the page, so you won't actually get to see that. And some are more um, auditory, so you'll, you'll hear it. Uh, this first one's called a tender system. And I use um, a German word in the poem, die Schmerzen, which means that pain. A tender system. A tumor is not tender. I am trying to tell you why. I tend to tell in a brackish way because there is a tendency to cover die Schmerzen. What I can't yet say, I'll say in German. I'd lend you my back that is blossom free, though it would not take your back back in return. That pain isn't that pain isn't that pain isn't just red and tender. There's a pain in telling you why I don't want to understand this all. Just how the body tends to transform from good to bad slowly in the middle of loving you, in the middle of the night. Who could talk tenderly about the end? About how we tend to the dying like sheep, like sheep, I'm sorry for the world, I'm sorry for everything that is not tender, like your blossomed back, you loved me back. So the shape of love has become the shape of a tumor, a shape not tender, a shape that ends all shapes endlessly. Though it's not tender, I will say it more tenderly. I hope you never, don't ever die for me. Um, the next poem is a poem called System of Some Truth. And it is a poem that I kind of wrote after thinking about Keats' idea of truth and beauty. Um, and the poem is, the stanzas are organized so that the words that have to do with truth and beauty are isolated, but you won't be able to see that. Um, so the system of the poem is, is stanzaic. And I wanted to write a poem that made some blanket, uh, blanket statements that the reader could decide if they were true or not true based on if you want to believe they're true or not. So that's up to you guys. System with some truth. It's valuable when swimming to know you're swimming. It's true. In hurried movements, we are most ourselves. Once a person asked if we are valuable to each other, I said that's personal. It's truly smart to answer personal questions in a hurried manner. Once I couldn't find any real beauty in you to last. Our bodies are true variety. Our bodies are what's true of maps. Too many rivers to drown in. In Dupovnik, there's the smallest river in the world. We'd drown in it. A river never rests. It's a personal choice to rest. After a long time moving, we speak about resting. We speak, and it's true. Language never rests. I'm tired, actually. Actually, I'm tired. This is a true fact. We are not exactly beautiful. And what is beautiful is a personal question. Yes, it's true. You are the accumulation of losing, which means I am lost. In a river, everything is lost in the hurrying. The rocks, the fish. I wish it were kept personal, the losing. I have considered our body's need to keep moving through states, through true statements. It's valuable to know language will not make us beautiful. It's valuable to watch a body swimming in a river that isn't yours. A river is not the reason we cannot help ourselves. Water only kind of drowns us, and the rest we do ourselves. I am tired of your kind of beauty that moves and keeps on moving. I am the kind of fish you are losing. In the dry world, there is nothing that is not true. All you need to know is that I'm thrashing to know what's thrashing in you. Um, this next poem started off, I wanted to write a system for grieving, or for grief. 
And it, it took me a long time to try to figure out what I would repeat in a poem about grief um, and, or to write a system for it. So finally I started to realize that there probably wasn't a system for grief and that's when this poem came about. Um, and the poem has the periods and the punctuation in all the wrong places, which is fragmenting the sentences, so all you're going to get is fragments. Um, but there actually are full sentences in the poem if you read beyond the punctuation. It's called No System for Grief. You were in the world and more slowly now, I am so fasted now, so long it's been without you. If you ever read this, you were what I was dreaming of, this welt, to know it before. It comes like love. I loved your empty spaces. Save them a little like. The sea, it's dying, believe me. Long ago today I was fond of saying time is just wandering away. Love, you heard me once say, I am the lost shiny thing you were. Designed for this decade, jumped hoops to get me, and picture it got through. But not this, I am not through, and I will not miss this big sadness or how I watched your body break into such fragments toward what bewilderment. That one was kind of cool because I knew when to start reading the other fragment based on when my echo stopped. <laughs> good, good for that. <laughs> this is the last poem. Um, this is a poem about the Newtown Massacre. I started writing this poem the day after the shootings happened last year, and I knew when I wrote the poem, the first draft of the poem, that, that it wasn't right. Um, I'm not somebody who normally would sit down and write about a public event like that after it happened, so it was kind of a new thing for me. So I put the poem away for the whole year and didn't do anything with it. Um, the end of that poem, the last line, says something like, you unarm a thing by unnaming it, taking away its place in your head. And the whole idea of the poem was not to use the word gun. I wanted to write a poem that didn't use the word gun, thinking that that would mean something. Um, and it wasn't until the Navy Yard shooting this fall that I wanted to take this poem out and really make it work. Um, and that's when I realized that I could not say the word gun in the poem all I wanted, and that was probably not going to matter or mean anything. And once I realized that, then I got the poem. So the poem's called System with No Guns. It starts with children, the way children start. They grow like flowers, they grow near a river. We are the river they grow near. They grow until they stop growing, until someone stops them from growing, until they are ungrowing, until they are on children. There are many rivers, so many rivers in Dunblane, so many rivers in Newtown, in Lancaster, in Blacksburg, in Littleton. If we could put rivers in front of the children, if the rivers could slow down moving objects, if the rivers had that kind of power, but the rivers know nothing, know there is nothing they can do, know there is something they should do, who could make a child unyoung, make a child undone, make a child something on, something on utter? Who could say children, say their names, say Jessica, Jack, Grace, say Mahari, John, Juan, say Lena, say Mary, say Kyle, say God, say it's unacceptable. Say you are undone. Say a river cannot save anyone. Say you are not a good river. Say you understand, though you may be unhinged, by not saying the word, you have not said a thing. Thanks.
much. Um, so can we get another round of applause for Kimberly?